Alright everybody, welcome back. We are now on part 15 of Nova Strike 6, and we are going to enter the gate stages. Uh, we are taking our trusty ultimate armor so that we can just Nova Strike our way through any problems, and probably into a whole bunch of spikes in the process because the gate stage is inundated with them. This is going to be fun. So I'm going to show you now how X gets through this stage without having any kind of spike immunity that the Shadow Armor grants. So similar to how we did it at the um, or in Blizzard Wolfang stage, in order to proceed through this point, you have to use the ice uh, block to create platforms for you to jump up to the next area. Now you have to be careful because the ice blocks are temporary. You also need the jumper part to be able to jump high enough to reach the platform or to reach the next area. And of course, you can't Nova Strike through that because spikes. Because once you actually start a Nova Strike, the only thing stopping you is a wall. We don't even need to jump this time. One Nova Strike is all it takes. Of course, now we have to take it the slow way down. And then the slow way back up. Being mindful of spikes all the way because we do not have the shadow armor to cheese our way up this time. Alright. Now it's time for X to fight the Shadow Mother. Or the Nightmare Mother, rather. Once again, officially, the Nightmare Mother's weakness is the Metal Anchor. Um, it is a pain in the neck to hit it with the Metal Anchor. And while it is doing its spin around the room, you cannot actually hurt it, even with the Nova Strike, now, which I will demonstrate. As you can see. Instead, it stops moving while you Nova Strike it. So make sure that when... Make sure it is away from the wall. This thing is a pain in the neck. And as you can see, it does not like Nova Strike.
Whew, I'm glad it still had that last little bit of vulnerability before, or enough to get hit by the Nova Strike. Because otherwise I would have had to wait for another full uh, cycle around before I could hit it again. Alright, we've already seen this scene on the original X playthrough. The only thing at this point that changes is the ending. So we're, we're going to skip the uh, cutscenes and terrible, grainy, staticky dialogue until the ending. Alright. Once again, a Nova striking we will go. Oh, this is going to be fun. I just realized we're going to have to actually fight the totems. Because we're not going to be able to cheese our way through it. Because stuff like that is going to happen. There is that tiny pixel of safe spot right there at the edge of the totem. And as long as as long as the bottom heads of the totem are destroyed, then you can actually use it. Because if the bottom heads are still active, then um, it's only safe half the time. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. This is the legitimate way of getting through this area. Now you see why we take the shadow armor through here. Okay, and the way Hymax works when playing his X is in order to damage him, first you have to stun him by hitting him with a special weapon, and then you actually damage him by firing a charge shot or Nova Strike into him. The Nova Strike by itself, or the charge shots by themselves, will not do anything until he's in his uh, final form. Watch. Absolutely nothing. Oh, sorry, I actually did that wrong. It's You hit him with a charge shot to stun him, and then you shoot him with a, uh, with a boss weapon. Actually, I wonder. Oh, or you can Nova Strike him while he's stunned. Okay, that's good to know. That actually makes this fight a 
significantly easier than I ever thought possible. Was not expecting that. I don't care, he's dead. That's one less problem to deal with. Of course, Gate's going to be a pain, because Gate we definitely cannot Nova Strike, because one, he's immune to all damage other than from his Orbs of Doom. Two, if we Nova Strike an Orb, we're probably going to end up destroying the, uh, the burst that it creates. Because yes, the burst has hit points as well. Of course, since we have the ultimate armor and an air dash, we... Nope, there's a... Right, where the hell is the missing shield generator? Oh, there it is. Okay. Time to fight Gates. We're gonna have fun! Fortunately though, because the Nova Strike is a full screen air dash, it does give us a get out of it does kind of give us a get out of jail free card should we fall off the platform, since we can as long as we haven't done any other aerial maneuver, we can dash across the bottom of the screen to the other side and very easily evade gate. Oh yes, and it's also, it only takes uh, one, or two Plasma Bursts to break a uh, one of his orbs, but they're immune to the leftover from the Plasma Burst. I probably should have equipped Buster Plus, because Buster Plus would actually allow me to break them in one shot. Or you just drop down a pit. That works too. As long as this fight doesn't take me two videos like took like when I did it with zero, I'm gonna be okay. I really don't feel like putting another hole in my wall. Yeah, you gotta be careful because the um, the pellets that the destroyed that the destroyed uh, orb shoot out don't or have their own HP and don't really have a lot. So the remnants of the plasma shot, come on. There we go. If 
like I said, no strike lets us get out of. It's basically a get out of jail free card in case something like that happens, which it did twice in a row. Apparently, the AI knows that if it drops the red orb, I just die. And the worst part about it is, the orbs are completely invulnerable until they stop and start activating. Stop it. Yeah, see? Nova Strike completely destroys the orbs and the, uh... Destroys the orbs and the runoff. Apparently, level 4 boss meters start at uh, PA rank, not at MEH. No, come on, damn it. Great. Time for the life recover. Now just not to, now it's just not fall in a pit. That would be really cool if I were to not fall in a pit. Stop it. Like, one more hit and you're dead. Variance is a bitch. Of course you... Oh, and of course you still need one more hit. Alright, come on. Stop it. You gotta be kidding me. It missed. Like I said, be careful about the reappearing platform because if they phase in over top of you, it's a telefrag and you die. Okay, 
apparently I Nova Strike gate to death because the tail end of the Nova Strike blew up the purple orb, causing the pellet to kill him. <laughs> because the plasma shot destroyed the three orbs that were going to kill him. Okay, whatever. I'll take it. It's a win. We've seen this scene already. Let's just go to the boss fights, refights. around our parts a bit. Um, uh, let's keep quick charge. Let's turn on the energy saver. So I'm going to actually traditionally fight the bosses this time since we um, Nova struck our way through them the first time, or the second time, and we shadow armored our way through them the first time. So uh, this time you'll actually see X fight the bosses with their weaknesses properly. I know, shocker. Oh jeez, I forgot how slow X moves without the speedster part. <laughs> so used to having it equipped. Bottom to the top. getting a little out of hand. Well, that was fun. You can always tell the real Maginion because he's the only one who moves around. The clone Maginions uh, just simply sit there and spawn bubbles infinitely. Unfortunately, just like with the bosses, if X is hit out of his charge modes, it does cancel his attack. Which sucks, I'm trying to hit him with Storm Eagle. Because it would be hilarious to nail a clam with an eagle. I'm really not sure what that attack is supposed to do. I've never actually seen it do anything meaningful.
Let's go ahead and fill up real quick. I don't remember who this was. I think it was Beat Mix. Uh, nope. Shelton, maybe? Yep, Sheldon. Oops, uh, there it is. Oh yeah, that's right. He is invulnerable until you break his gems. So he is the only boss that requires... He requires extra work. Now you get to see what happens when he actually gets hit. And even though it doesn't look like it, he is actually... He does have invulnerability frames shortly after he comes out of his little freeze animation. So you have to make sure that you time or pause for us about a second before you actually fire again, or else you waste shots like I did. Okay, I believe this one was Wolfang. Nope. Scaravich. And he's weak to either the dragonflies or the shots that they fire out. It does the exact same thing. Or maybe not. Okay. So you actually... Okay. You know what? I don't even care what causes him to actually go into his weakness animation. I'm not sure if it's the bullets from the dragonflies or the dragonflies themselves. Because he, he reacted to one or the other and then stopped reacting to both. Logical weaknesses. This game has them. Alright. Uh, this one should be weak. So. Or it's the shark. So we gotta jump the shark. Here's heat next.
Yeah, it, Ground Dash is really weird with its mechanics because it's only the initial push that actually hurts them, as you notice. If it goes, if he's still invulnerable from the previous hit, it just goes right through him and doesn't hit him on like the backswing or anything like that. This is Wolfang. So this is going to be really easy. You already saw this the first playthrough. Trying to kill him off with a charge shot. There we go. Ended up wasting like six shots because I kept getting hit before they activated. Oh well, it's not like it matters. I'm gonna get a full refill in just a moment anyway. Death from below. All right. Sigma time. Yay. You don't want to you want you don't want to nova strike off of the moving platform or else you're gonna nova spike yourself. Hi Sigma, how nice of you to drop in. Okay. Yay, we're almost done. The battle has just begun. All 
All right, so officially, Sigma's final form weakness is the um, is the Meteor Rain, or we can just Nova Strike him because he has no boss and vulnerability frames. Now, right down here is actually a safe spot until he does the double, um, or until he does, like, the double orb attack. And he's on tear them off, but uh, no. No. Taking way too much damage here. extra lives. Give me some health, please. Wow, that's embarrassing. I died to Final Sigma. Oh, and now I remember his weakness is actually the Z Saber. That's what it was. Because the Z Saber hits multiple times, it doesn't engage his uh, bolts and vulnerability frames, and will tear down his, will tear him down in no time, basically. That's why the Shadow Armor has such an easy time against him. Alright, let's try this again.
Oh, it's not like you ever have to worry about running out of uh, lives while fighting Final Sigma, because the mooks drop them like crazy. Of course, I need to zone better, because otherwise I just get crushed against his face. This is sad. There we go. Okay. Now that that's over and done with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing we haven't seen before, Sigma. Mainly trying to desperately, slightly refill my sub tanks when possible. All right, come on, Sigma, stop with that. That was bothersome. There we go. <laughs> With one HP left.
I guys won't well, enjoy the ending. This is the zero less ending. Very similar to the with zero ending, with one notable exception. Oh wait, never mind, there he is. Alright guys, and that was Mega Man X6. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, but I still got about an hour left, so we will be doing something else in just a few minutes when I get back from the break. So uh, stay tuned. I'll be right back.